Brooks Painter, winemaking technical manager Robert Mondavi Winery, Napa Valley, California, a Cabernet Bordeaux varietal specialist and consultant on vineyard practices, shares his insights along with an extensive collection of interviews from wine industry experts inside Wine Works. The list of wine professionals includes the first person in the world to attain both a Master of Wine and Master Sommelier title, California and Washington State winemakers, wineries and restaurant owners, the former West Coast editor of Wine Spectator magazine, as well as representatives from leading wine services and product suppliers. Greeks and Romans were responsible for distributing the vines and their winemaking knowledge throughout Europe. Closer to home in the late 1700s, Thomas Jefferson traveled to Europe and fell in love with the wines of France. He shipped the best vines and grape cuttings home to Virginia and encouraged wine consumption and production in the new American colonies. Today, science provides winemakers with a better understanding of the process. Through the application of science, winemakers now have more information to assist them in their winemaking decisions. Aside from using a handheld refractometer, there are several other ways to uh, measure the bricks of a juice solution. Uh, one of the ways is using a densitometer, and that's what this high-tech device is. You suck in the juice, and then it gives you a numerical reading that tells you the density. From the density, you can calculate how much sugar or what the bricks is. Um, another more old-fashioned way of doing it is using a hydrometer, and this is just another way of measuring the density of a juice or of a wine. And with this wine, you see that um, we're essentially at zero, so all of the sugar has been converted to alcohol, and we have essentially a, a, a dry After the grapes wine. are harvested, they're either run through a stemmer crusher to remove the stems, or whole clusters are put directly into a press, depending upon what the winemaker is trying to achieve. What we've got going here today is uh, crushing and pressing some Chardonnay. We also do some whole cluster, and by that I mean we dump the clusters directly into the press and don't go through the crusher. The uh, machine that you see behind me here is, is the crusher, the thing that's got the bin that's with the grapes falling into the hopper. Um, the clusters go through with the box underneath it uh, with a, you know, I guess it's a slightly violent process. The berries are flung off the stems. You can see that the stems are falling down into a bin and the juice and the berries fall down into the must pump, which is that device sitting underneath the machine, and pump them into the press over here. Um, at the moment, the press is just draining. Uh, so the juice comes out, there's a pump and a series of hoses and stainless steel pipes and everything that transports it into the tank. The production process for sparkling wine or champagne is similar to white wine. If one of the major differences between creating still wines and sparkling wines is the fermentation process. In sparkling wines, we have two fermentations. The first fermentation takes place in these stainless steel fermenters. The second fermentation is going to take place in a sealed bottle. After the yeast has consumed all the sugar in the bottle, there's nothing left for the yeast to feed on, so they begin to die off. And during the aging cycle, what seems to happen is the cells begin to break apart, and this is where a lot of the tones and complexities are arrived at. It looks just like this. Now, the next step, about three to five years later, when the winemaker says it's time to release the wine, at that point, we need to remove the sediment out of the bottle. And that is the process that they call riddling. Now, what you're seeing right here, this is a riddling difference between rack. a master of wine and a master sommelier. A master of wine must complete a blind tasting of 38 wines and identify the varietal composition, region of origin, vintage, and quality of each wine. A master sommelier program involves tasting, theory, practical and dining room application including wine, spirits, beer, and cigar knowledge. The first person in the world to attain both titles is professional taster Ron Wiegand. You know, that's a tough question because there's so many different kinds of wines out there. Uh, some of the fresh and fruity white wines are uh, best consumed as soon as you get them home. Uh, Chardonnays, barrel fermented Chardonnays uh, often improve with an additional year of, of bottle age, although uh, usually very delicious when you buy them. Uh, red wines are the type that improve the most with age and uh, in general if you have a good cellar and good conditions for aging the wine you can keep them for five ten years and uh, you'll see some uh, 
really interesting bottle bouquet developed, but uh, we'll make the wine even better.